So this news comes as another drama is taking place in Washington. Congress facing a new showdown tonight over a partial government shutdown. An apparent agreement blew up today when President Trump rejected a temporary spending bill passed by the Senate, but that does not include $5 billion for a southern border wall. He appeared to retreat from that demand earlier in the week, but he took a tougher line today after a backlash from conservatives. Any measure that funds the government must include border security, has to. Not for political purposes, but for, for our country, for the safety of our community. This is not merely my campaign promise. This is the promise every lawmaker made. It is the solemn promise to protect and defend the United States of America. And it is our sacred obligation. More now on all this with our NewsHour's White House correspondent, Yamish Alcindor, and our Capitol Hill correspondent, Lisa Desjardins. As if there wasn't already enough going on, we have this uh, going on at, uh, at between the Capitol and the White House. So, Lisa, where does it stand right now? It was quite a day. Here's where we are right now. House Republicans have sort of switched the plan midstream today, and they are now offering a new continuing resolution to keep these agencies funded. That would contain $5 billion, as the president is requesting, for border money. They say that would go to a wall. Now, here's the thing, Judy. Um, it is not clear if either the House or Senate will actually pass that version. We expect the House to vote very soon. That could even be this hour or it could be in coming hours. We are unclear if the Senate will be able to vote, but Mitch McConnell, the Senate leader, has told senators to be ready for a vote on this as soon as tomorrow, which, of course, is the deadline. Finally, another issue is that the Senate has already passed its own funding bill. That's what we thought would pass today. But the Senate president has said he will not sign that. So these three legs of the chair have yet to align. The House is voting tonight, and that will be a very big vote. And not entirely clear what that money would go toward, as I hear you saying. I talked to Democrats, whose opinion, of course, is critical. They believe that is wall money, and we're going to hear from the Democratic leaders, Pelosi and Schumer, soon. They, I expect, to oppose this House bill, which could be a problem. So, Yamish, what is it that the president now wants from Congress? The president wants a deal that's going to make him look strong, and he wants $5 billion for a border wall. Now, earlier this week, that was exactly the opposite of what the White House said they were going to do. Sarah Sanders came out, the White House press secretary, and said, we'll find the $5 billion somewhere else. We'll even request federal agencies look into their budgets to see where they might be able to put this $5 billion. But then... Essentially, the, the president changed his mind, and again, we are where we are right now. It's important to note that apart from lawmakers in Congress having some opposition to this bill, that there were conservative voices in the media, um, in some of the channels that the president watches, also voicing their opinions. Rush Limbaugh, who is a popular conservative radio host, accused the president of caving in on getting border wall money. Um, Laura Ingram, who's a Fox News host, said that today we should bring on the shutdown. So the president was also watching these things, essentially, um, and heard that and, and was very worried about whether or not that could be something that would be seen as a promise broken, which, of course, is what we heard in that clip that we just played. And, and so, Lisa, what is going on with Republicans? I mean, with this kind of pressure coming from the, their right flank, what's happening? This morning seems like a week ago. This morning, House and Senate thought they were going to pass this bill. Funding would be taken care of. But I think Yamish is on to it. Conservative Freedom Caucus members sensed an opening. And as we talked about last night, they were pressuring the president as well. When the House Republicans met this morning, they started talking about the fact that no one was confident about where the president was at all. So even members who liked the Senate bill were scared to vote for it because they were worried that it would pass and then the president would change his mind. So they said to Paul Ryan, figure out where the president is. We want to hear from him today. They got that answer and it changed everything. So, Yamish, uh, how far is the president prepared to take this? Is, is he prepared to see the government shut down? It sounds like the president was partially shut down. It sounds like the president is ready to and to, to shut down the government and also or might be proud to shut down the government. But we should remind people what a government shutdown or partial government shutdown would mean. Some of the agencies that would be impacted, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Agriculture and Interior, and the Justice Department and the State Department. So we're not talking about small agencies that might be that we might be able to operate without. The Department of Homeland Security is, is the heart of where the president wants to do barter security, and they could be out of work. 
it's, uh, it's or unpaid while they're working or if they're unpaid. essential. Yeah, and we're waiting to see, and we are literally waiting now, as you're saying, Lisa. Uh, the vote could be coming. I'm watching now. my phone at this moment, and you know, <laughs> even as much as it feels when you're in Congress like, oh, a shutdown's coming. The truth is, Judy, bizarrely. A day is a lot of time. There's a day until this deadline. And so there is a lot of room to potentially maneuver right now. It's hard to figure out how they get there, but often somehow they do. There could be something about semantics in terms of what is border security money that they work out. We'll have to wait and see. 24, 30 whole hours. I know, imagine, <laughs> loads of time. Lisa Desjardins, you Michelle Cinder. Thank you both.